My name is Marna Baima, and today we're going to be talking about STI screenings and some preventative care measures that you can take. Sexually transmitted infections is what it's called. Probably some of the common ones that you've heard of are gonorrhea and chlamydia. Those are the two most tested ones that I would say. Um, obviously, there's other ones that we can test for as well, but we'll be mainly focusing on, on those ones um, as far as screenings for that. Typically in females, they are asymptomatic, which is why it can cause a lot of issues as far as for females go, if they are not getting screenings properly or if um, they don't have symptoms, they could run into uh, having some issues later on. So we're talking like pelvic inflammatory disease, infertility, complications with pregnancy, just to name a few things. Screenings for those can be important to mention uh, to any sort of provider, whether it's a women's health provider or even your family med um, doctor, whoever you're seeing, uh, just letting them know like, hey, am, am I a candidate that should be screened? Some of our high risks that we're gonna be talking about are those that are under 25 years of age, um, whether you're male or female, people that have multiple sexual partners, if you have a new partner, if you've previously had an STI, if your sexual partner has an STI, any of those types of risk factors we're gonna to want to know and we're probably going to want to test maybe more frequently if those um, types of risk factors are occurring. One of the biggest things that actually happens is just transferring um, the STI to your other sexual partners that you might have. The most common reason that women actually usually come in is because their sexual partner tested positive or started to show signs and symptoms. So like having some extra discharge, um, burning while urinating, some itching, sores that can develop with herpes and syphilis, those ones um, aren't as common as your gonorrhea and chlamydia where you're gonna have the abnormal discharge and the burning when urinating. But men typically will have those symptoms over women. Women commonly are asymptomatic, which is a lot of times why um, it's important to do the screenings early to try to prevent any sort of complications down the line. If you do find that you do test positive, um, your provider will let you know and they can get you started on an antibiotic and typically those do are free with insurance. The only way to prevent STIs, one is abstaining from sex, is to use condoms. Um, any sort of like pill that you could be taking for birth control or having an IUD or anything like that is not going to prevent from getting an STI. The only prevention is a condom. Gonorrhea and chlamydia are 100% uh, treatable, so once you have gone through the treatment, you are cured, you, they will do typically, some offices will do it more frequently, um, but typically we say about three months after treatment, we'll do a retest just to make sure that um, you aren't testing positive still for gonorrhea and chlamydia. Another important thing is that you do, while you're on an antibiotic, it is good to refrain from any um, sexual intercourse uh, because you don't want to reinfect yourself or give it to your partner. Screenings for things like gonorrhea, chlamydia, uh, they're very simple, very straightforward. So typically it's either going to be a vaginal swab or um, they could do a, a urine test as well. Um, and typically you'll have results within a day or two um, after processing. So it's very, very easy, very simple, and your doctor will reach out to you if you test positive or negative. If you have any questions or concerns about possible screenings for STIs, please reach out. We are available.